Hello YouTube, Shalka04 here. Welcome to my first video. Now here's what's going to happen going forward. I used to be a regular guy with a little bit of a prepper mindset. And then uh, one day everything changed and we decided that we needed to do it full blown. We're going to go beyond prepping, beyond homesteading, and just basically try to live uh, like people were doing 150 years ago. Now, I grew up in New Jersey, spent 18 years of my life there as a kid, uh, so I'm more adapted to the city life than the, uh, the rural life. So the adventure before us includes things like learning how to raise bees, we're going to build a house, I got some experience in uh, selling solar, so we're going to design an uh, off-grid system, we're going to put that in. We're also going to delve into uh, aquaponics and raising some of our own protein that way. Obviously, we're going to grow vegetables, but we're also going to put back vegetables. I'm a little worried about canning, so instead of canning stuff, we're going to try to uh, build our own uh, freeze dryer. What else? In addition to all that stuff, I want the house to be as secure and safe as possible, so there'll be those kind of elements incorporated into the uh, design. Uh, a lot of fun things going forward. But first, a little background on who I am and uh, where we are and how we got here. I just turned 50 years old uh, three months ago. And uh, for most of my life I had a regular 9 to 5 job. I worked in the computer industry. And uh, in, when was it, 2004, my position was outsourced to India. Just like, you know, thousands of other jobs, mine went away. So at that time, we decided that we were going to stop working for the man, so to speak, and start working for ourselves. And at that time, in 2000, September of 2005, we bought a uh, mobile home park in the, uh, the southwest. It was hard work. We learned a lot of different skills. Skills that, again, you'll see us apply going forward. Plumbing things, electrical things, waterproofing, weatherproofing, all kinds of skills that we learned while open, op, owning the mobile home park. You'll see a supply to, uh, to prepping, homesteading, all that stuff going forward. Now, I would say I was what you might call a, a weak or a lame prepper. I had uh, I had accumulated some ammunition, and I had a couple of duffel bags of stuff that I either brought back from the army or had from uh, camping as a kid. And in my mind, that basically made me a little better off than my neighbor. The mistake, though, that we made, and I would say 99% of everybody else makes, is we were more reactive than proactive. Meaning, it wasn't until the storm was upon us that we thought, hey, we should go to the store now and either buy an additional space heater or we should stock up on a couple of gallons of milk or we need bread or cheese, whatever it is that people typically run out and strip the shelves of. We were one of those people, but about an hour or two too late. So we'd show up and there'd be nothing. And we'd go home and eat a can of Spam and say, next time, we'll, uh, we'll be there a little earlier next time. Uh... Then in March, it was actually March 8th of 2014, I watched a uh, video, and it was a two hour long video put on by a professor from uh, University of Arizona. I watched it, I stumbled across it at 11 o'clock at night, and I watched it twice. And then I went to bed at about 3 o'clock in the morning, and basically couldn't sleep. Because what I saw in this video, and we'll go into that uh, in another uh, one of my videos, was so alarming to me that we decided, I, and the next day I showed it to Andrea, my fiance. She watched it, we discussed it, and decided right then we were going to change the course of our lives. We weren't going to prep, we weren't going to live the normal life anymore. Right then we decided we need to step out of society, step out of the norm, and start living day-to-day uh, -day as if uh, SHTF had already occurred. 
so <coughs> let's see what else can I tell you we'll do some product reviews we'll do what we won't do is uh, we won't do anything that's illegal that's up to you and we won't do anything that's specific because uh, I mean, let's face it everybody's got their own security concerns as do I but uh, you know the thing that used to uh, What drove me to prepping, or what made me curious about prepping, or what, however you want to describe that, I was the guy who would get up and look at, in the morning at the, uh, I had my thumb on a couple of different pulses. I watched the exchange rate of the American dollar versus the euro, and I watched the exchange rate of the American dollar versus the New Zealand dollar and the Australian dollar. And that's only because I had lived in those two countries for, uh, I don't know, a while. And so I felt as though I could judge what we were doing versus their economy and sort of, you know, watch the, uh, watch the two values or those values fluctuate. So I used to do that. The other thing I would do is I'd watch the American stock exchange. You know, how's the Dow doing? How's the, uh, the NASDAQ doing? That kind of stuff. Uh, things are going up. Yay. Things are going down. Boo. Uh, what have you. But I would rely on those economical indicators to basically give me a feel for where we stood as a country with regards to the likelihood of a, of a SHTF or a WROL situation, you know, something that would necessitate going from prepping to uh, doing. I also would, as best as I could, watch uh, shows, news stories, whatever, whatever I could find that talked about the Chinese housing bubble. I think that the housing bubble we suffered here in 2008 pales in comparison to what will happen when the Chinese housing bubble finally bursts. So, again, those were things that I was looking at, worrying about, and, and what have you. When I watched this, uh, this video on March 8th, though, it filled in the whole rest of the picture for me. Because what I had realized was that I was focusing on and worrying about economic indicators and looking to them for the triggers that were going to say, okay, it's begun. This video basically talks about the environmental triggers. Uh, carbon monoxide, methane, uh, the heat engine in the oceans, these kind of things. Uh, it's when I saw this video that I realized that it's already begun. And so instead of being proactive like everybody else, two days later we accepted an offer to sell the, the property and went down that road. And six months later we, uh, we loaded up everything we had into a shipping container and bought this RV and are now currently driving around the country looking for the right piece of land and we can talk about that in another episode. But we're looking right now for the right piece of land to basically start homesteading on. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sitting in the RV in southern Indiana talking to you. And tomorrow or the next day we're going to continue our search down the road for uh, the right piece of land. So I hope you, uh, hope you make a point of bookmarking this and, and you know become one of my, uh, my, my friends or my, my links or my groupies or whatever you want to call it and look forward to, uh, you know, seeing what we do in the future. If you got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Keep in mind that I'm uh, not an expert in all things, but I'll try to find the answers uh, as best I can. Again, thanks for, uh, thanks for your time.